Okay, we're up to Simon Nunhei Halacha Chof, Sif Chof. Hayu Asar B'mokam Echot. Very interesting halacha. There were 10 people in one place, Vaimrim Kaddish Ukdusha, and those minion, that minion, that minion of 10 people are saying Kaddish Ukdusha. Afilu Misha'in Imohem Yochul Anas. Even if someone who is not actually in that same place where there is a minion, he's able to respond to Kaddish Ukdusha. Vyesh Aimrim Shatzarek Shaloyehim Afsik Tinuf. And there are those who say that there shouldn't be a barrier of a tinuf, of some sort of dirt, or avodas kechov, which Mishmur explains means some avodazora or someone worshipping avodazora in between the minion and where he is standing, because otherwise that's a barrier uh, and he would not be able to respond. Says the Mishnah Bura, Sif Katan Samach, She'ine Imohem, Rotzuleima, Afidu Hu Bebais Acher, Roch Glegamri, even if he's in a house, which is very far away from where the minion is. Shekivan Shasara Haim Bamokam Echod, since there is a minion in that particular place, Shina Shriya Benehem, the Shina resides with that minion, Vaoz Afilu Machitza Shal Barzal in Mafsekas Bain Kolmishiritzil Tsarif Atsmay Im Ov Shabashamay Mashekin Basekhil Ilasara. Then even a an iron machitza is not going to be able to be a barrier between him and the minion. So, for example, you've got a uh, minion across the street in a shul, and you live in a dira uh, quite far away, but you can hear Kaddish to Kudusha. You're able to say Amen and to respond uh, appropriately to Kaddish to Kudusha, even though you're quite far away. Because even a machitza shel barzel, says the Mishnah Bura, is not mafsik between uh, Avinu Shabashamayim, who's with that minion, with the Shechina, with that minion, uh, and wherever this person is. Yochel says the Mishnah Bura, in Sif Kotan Samach Alef, Omein, he can answer Omein, Vomein Yeshmi Rabba, Kudusha Baruch Hu, Vachein Yochel Lahutzi Dei Chavos, but Tefillah Emein Abaki, and so too, if he is not an expert in able, being able to read, uh, then he can be Yoyt to his Chiyuv of Tefillah. V'yesh Oymrim Shetzarech, Samach Beis, Halacha, says Nishab, it's not absolutely clear. He doesn't hold of this. That he can answer and Kedusha Davirak Psukim. Kedusha Psukim, Kodesh, 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 Baruch, Kavod Hashem, Koyme, whatever it may be. Uh, that he can say, but Baruch Hu, we shouldn't uh, respond uh, because that's not a pasuk and that could be the Shem Hashem unnecessarily said. There shouldn't be some sort of barrier between them of a tin of Ravid Zara. Says in Mishnah Burin, Samach Gimel, Afidu Amen in Yochalanus Ledeazu in Humafsik. Even on main, he can't respond if there is some sort of tin of some sort of dirt, uh, some sort of tsoya, whatever it may be. In between them, uh, says the Mishnah Berurin, Samach Dalad Tinuf Rotzuleima Afilu Hu Meruchug Mimenu Yosi Me Arba Amos. Even if the Tinuf, this dirt, is more than four Amos away from him, to Ba'am Mutal De Hachzoras Panov, that ordinarily, if he turns his face away, that would be okay. Im Ena Magia Le Hareach Ra. So long as the Reach Ra, the bad smell, doesn't come his way and he can turn aside, that would be okay. However, here for Hach Ena Moel Kim Shum Mafsik Ben Hasora Ben O Ben Zesharitz Listarfe Mohem, because that is just the barriers, like a, you know, an, inter- an interference between the minion and wherever he is, the person who wants to join the minion, who and that causes the shechina not to reside here. Um, and lastly, either some idolatry or an idolater himself who's worshiping Avodah Zarah, that would be a, a barrier between him and the minion. Now, there's a very interesting note, in number seventy-five. The lashon of the mission of the mechaber is, I feel angel that if there's a minion, you know, a bit further away, and he can hear it, he can respond to that. Says the mechaber that yochel says the mission says the dirshu mission of brewer note for seventy-five mashma she'in chayv lanus amen kedusha baruch of kaddish. There's no obligation to respond. Yochel if he wants to, he can. But he doesn't have to. If he wants to, he can join them and, and, and respond. And indeed, that is how Shlomo Zalman would infer from this halacha. And Ryashev would say the same. However, Meidach, Chaim Kanievsky, argues with this in the name of the Chazanish, and he says, no, there is a chiyuv. Ah, it says Yochelanus. So Val Rais Hagon of Shemazalman that it says Yochelanus. 
No, it means kivan she yochalanus mimele chayevlanus. Since he's able to, or since he can, therefore he's obligated to do it. So an interesting machlokas whether he has to respond or whether he can respond. And a similar machlokas is what happens if you're in a shtibel factory and then in the room next door they're davening and you're learning or you're talking even. Do you have to respond to the Kaddish or Kedusha that is in the minion next, by, next door where you're not actually uh, part of that minion? Says the note towards the end of 75, the last paragraph, If you're in a place in Davening where you're allowed to say Amen, and you hear a bracha that someone else is saying, so for example, you're saying Karbonus, and someone else is putting on the Tefillin, and if you saying Amen is going to confuse you, or if you're learning, and that might disturb you by you answering Amen, and uh, that you don't have to respond. If you're learning, or if you're even somewhere in Davning in a different place where you're able to respond, you do not have to respond if it's going to disturb you. But even, and, and so too, if you're learning, you do, you're potter, you're exempt from having to say Amen, 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 Yeshmi Rabbo. Avul Kudusha, or Baruch Hu, Amoidim, Hari Yiyeh Nika, Imlo Yitzarefim Mohem, Lochein Yane. But when it comes to Kudusha, for example, everyone's standing up and you're not standing up because you're sitting in the back of Shul because you've davened already and you're not joining in, or Baruch Hu, or Birchas, or Moidim, then it's wrong not to join in and you should be Mitzarev. And so too, Birchas Kohanim, Yafsik, um, you should stop your learning and you should, you know, join in the Birchas Kohanim. However, Talmud Tersha Rabbim, if there's a Shia going on, then Lo Yavatel Mishum Kach, that you shouldn't stop uh, for that one. Okay, we'll leave it there.